Hey, welcome guys. This video teaches you how to open and clean a desktop computer. So there are three things you might need. Actually, depends. Um, so the first, of course, is your desktop computer. That's a given. Everyone's going to have that. The second, air in a can. The third thing is actually optional, uh, actually more dependent on your computer case. Uh, it's a screwdriver kit, okay? So in my case, I don't need it. I can actually undo the screws in my hand. Some people will have it like really tight on or actual screws where you, you can't even fit your finger. You're gonna have to use a screwdriver. A lot of computers are like mine, um, where the, you can just take the screw off of your hand. Very easy, just like that. And when you put it back on, don't tighten as hard as possible. It's, there's no need for it. Your computer, it doesn't move. Some computer cases, um, like a really old Dell desktops, literally split in half right down the middle. I kid you not. It's really weird. Um, they don't really make those type anymore. They kind of have to fiddle with the notches. They're usually at the top of the case, at the very top here. Um, some other computer cases will have the same two screws here, like, like I had. They'll have this here, where you can put your hand in. As a lever, you pull and slide this case out, uh, like I'm going to demonstrate for you guys. But there's also a lock you have to kind of grip and pull. Remember how you did it, so putting it back together is very easy, right? So in my case, I'm done. All I'm gonna do is slide this backwards, and that's it. Take it off gently, uh, because you don't know, if you, especially if you're doing this the first time, you don't know what's in there, and how your wires are set up. So in my example, I have a fan that is wired to the side panel, so I gotta take this off very gently, right? Now you gotta take your air in a can, or reverse vacuum, whatever it may be, and just blow the dust out. Um, try to keep small children and infants away, do not use a regular vacuum. So if you're blowing the dust out here and you want to capture the dust as it's flying out, don't do that. Or if you simply want to take the vacuum straight in there and suck out the dust directly, again, do not do that. The reason you don't want to use a vacuum in any circumstance at all is because you don't want to accidentally touch anything, which could cause a static charge and damage one of the components at a microscopic level. And if it's done at a microscopic level, that computer part is fried, so you can damage your entire graphic card if you spent a lot of money on it. Just don't take that chance of being silly, right? All you basically do is blow it out. Um, I tend to clean mine every so often. You may or may not be able to see the dust fly out. And try to really get in the nooks and crannies, right? Because that's where most of the dust is going to remain. That's pretty much it. Um, one of the questions you might have is how often do I have to do this? Well, it depends how often your computer is on. If you leave it 24-7 on, you're going to have to probably clean it once a month, but also it depends on how dusty your environment is. Uh, rule of thumb is try to maybe do it every 2-3 months and just kind of get a feel for how much dust is accumulating. But that's pretty much it. So if you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Subscribe, hit that like button, it does help, and thanks for watching.